The Dart SVP includes automation to introduce your samples into the Dart gas stream, facilitated by an automated linear rail. Attaching to the linear rail, we have several different kinds of sample introduction modules. Loading your samples onto a specific sample module will allow consistent positioning and speed of your sample during the ionization process, making the process quicker and easier. This video is intended to educate users on the different sample introduction module options that are available to them, and which would be helpful for their applications. The first and most common module is called the Quickstrip module. The Quickstrip card is a wire mesh screen card with spots for up to 12 samples to be loaded onto at once. You can deposit liquid samples onto the mesh spots, usually between 1 to 5 microliters, or you can scrape powder or solids onto the sample spots as well. After sample deposition onto the card is complete, you simply place the card onto the module attached to the linear rail and begin the DART method. The module will move the quickstrip card and sample across the opening between the DART source and the mass spec inlet for ionization and analysis. For solid and liquid samples, we also have our Dip-It module. These glass capillary-like rods can be dipped directly into a liquid sample or a powdered sample. The Dip-It is then slid into the Dip-It module holder, where up to 12 Dip-Its can be placed at a time. This module also moves through the Dart MS inlet at a user-adjustable speed. If the sample is an irregularly shaped object or solid, such as a plant, fruit peel, or dollar bill, the tweezer module is a convenient way to introduce the solid into the dart stream in a more steady and reproducible way. The tweezer module attaches to the rail, and the tweezers will hold the sample out to be moved between the dart MS inlet. The positioning of this module can be adjusted for optimal exposure of the sample to the ionization beam. Another module that we have that also plays a role in sample preparation is our SPIET module. This module is designed to hold sorbent-coated spimi fibers, which are used to extract target compounds out of complex matrices, such as biological fluids, ink mixtures, juices, etc. After the spimi fibers complete extraction from the sample matrices, they are loaded directly onto the SPIET module and run through the DART MS inlet for ionization. For many pharmaceutical and drug applications, our tablet module is a valuable sample introduction method. This module allows for up to 12 tablets of varying sizes to be loaded and secured in the module. For optimal results with this method of sample introduction, the dart source should be positioned at a 45 degree angle facing down towards the surface of the tablets as they pass through the dart MS inlet, made possible using our dart SVP 45A configuration package. This angled 45A configuration is also required when using our 3 plus D scanner module. The 3 plus D scanner allows for direct surface analysis of an object, such as ink on a paper, coatings or adhesives on industrial products, etc. In this setup, the sample is placed onto a plate attached to a linear rail. It's also attached to a second linear rail in the X direction, which allows for XY movement of the plate and scanning across the surface. The XY rail's positioning and speed can be automated or adjusted manually through the DART software. This brief overview of the different options for sample introduction modules should help you determine which module or modules are the best fit for your sample types and applications.